Coping with grief and loss is a very personal journey, a journey that some struggle to understand. Well, this new website offers an outlet for people to share their stories and to inspire others who feel alone. It's called the Oncoming Alive Project. It was started by a Michigan woman who lost her baby son. And as WSBT 22's Kristen Bean shows us, a Granger mom is using it to share her story. It's a struggle every day. Um, I have my good days and my bad days. Nearly a year and a half after losing her firstborn child, Amber Wedham is still here. It really has been a story of survival because there were times where I thought, like, I was, I was done. Like, my overall life goal was to be a mother. Like, that was always my plan and my dream. And that was given to me and then taken away. Drew was born August 25th, 2014, with two congenital heart defects. For 77 days, he lived through surgeries and procedures. Unfortunately, at two and a half months old, Drew's little body couldn't fight anymore. His parents were there as their beautiful baby passed away. Got to see his face without any ventilator tubes or any wires and things like that for a little bit before he passed away. and. I just held him, and, and that was it, and he passed away. I was able to bend over him and just say, you know, don't be scared, and I'm right here with you, and yeah. Wedham admits she has struggled. To remember Drew, she started a nonprofit to help other bereaved parents, and now she's sharing her story through the Oncoming Alive Project. And even though you're grieving and you're hurting and the amount of pain is just unimaginable, you can still, you can get through it. On Coming Alive was started by Lexi Barrent, who also lost her baby. She's compiled more than 70 stories of heartache and overcoming grief and hope. Her goal? It's about acknowledging that pain exists. And to some degree, it's always going to exist but it can also coexist with, with joy and with life and with um, really seeing the beauty in our situations and with hope, no matter what. Like Wedham's story, many are heartbreaking, but the underlying theme is that life exists after heartbreak. It feels like yesterday, like the fact that my life has move forward and um, we have a four month old son and uh, life has gone on. It's just strange to me. Like it feels like it just happened and it didn't. Kristen Bean, WSBT 22 News. And if you would like to submit your story to the project, you can. Lexi has created a submissions page. There's a backlog through as this website gets more publicity. We'll put a link to the site on our WSBT 22 News app.